the city told me that I could not return into this corner, so I couldn't do brick. I could do brick here, but and I that'll be an there. engineering support thing. You know, it just it's a, be a terrible thing to get wrong. And oh I've spent yeah, so much particularly time outside. So much They're scarier because you know generally these hard elements that you do outside are really costly, and you're not going to change them once no. they're done. That's it, right? So you really want to be sure um, with it. So I fully understand. Are we? Do we have the potential of changing the style of shutter that's here? I think the biggest thing is to have a, a synergy of thought, uh, particularly when it's an addition. You want the addition to feel like it's always been part of the house. Um, you, you never like something that's sort of plunked on. Um, so getting the coloring uh, to, to feel like it's always been part of here. And today we're going to be deciding as well on ease troughing and that sort of thing. And it's an area that, you know, a lot of people will just go traditionally white because that's what people do. Um, but in this case, we're going to uh, soften up that ease troughing so it doesn't show too much. Okay, so let's take a peek at it with Rick. So exterior consultations generally are about a half an hour, but sometimes people are into a bigger project where it really is beyond paint. Now we're talking about structural differences, how to deal with moldings, how to deal with um, lots of little tiny scenarios that come up that uh, during the construction stage end up having to go that way uh, because of something that wasn't anticipated. And so it's problem solving and um, that's a part of my job that I really enjoy because uh, Usually there's an inexpensive way to solve a problem and people are always just so grateful that they didn't have to, you know, go into their pockets for, for more to solve a problem when, when there is an easy solution. There's two different rules for two different areas. You know, your hard elements I always feel, which I refer to as yep. these sort of things right that here. stay with your house, um, are areas where you want to be a little bit more on the neutral side and that's not to say that it all needs to be beige because you can be grays, you can be a lot of different types of neutrals um, and then you can interject color and have the flexibility that you need long term because those are big investments and it, it's, it's always a crime when you, you see a beautifully tiled bathroom and the only reason it's being pulled out is because of the color.